Hi everyone! I wanted to show you my small art haul and to chat a little about my first experience with these new products. I made purchase from Jackson's Art English Art Shop and Jackson's Art has huge variety of wonderful art supplies. They have international delivery and what is especially great when you live outside European Union, they extract wet and prices become quite pleasant. What I also like is that every two or three weeks they have different discounts and sales. For example, here I have purchased acrylic paint two times cheaper than they cost in my country. And of course, I was eager to try famous Daniel Smith watercolors. And I purchased three wonderful green colors. You know that I love to color different flowers, plants and landscapes. So I purchased three watercolors by Daniel Smith and one greenish umber from French brand Cinelia. Another thing I like about Jackson's art is that it's possible to get some free samples and to test products. Main reason of my order was that I needed quality brushes. My favorite watercolor brush is quite old and I already feel that it has problems with this keeping thin tip, so I decided to purchase some brushes by Jackson's Art, by their own production. And here I got also some free samples by Liquitex, by the professional line acrylic paints. I wanted to say a huge thank you to all my patrons, to everyone who sent me coffee donations and who made this purchase possible, who made possible for me to test new art supplies. Thank you and I am very grateful to everyone. I forgot to mention that the cost of delivery also was very nice, very reasonable. You know that I live in Ukraine and Almost no one want to say to send something to Ukraine or delivery rate is absolutely insane. But here uh, delivery cost was less than two United States dollars. By the way, here are three uh, samples of Liquitex acrylics and also uh, a sample of varnish. Here we have three basic colors. It will be very interesting to test and to paint something. And delivery was also quite fast. I got everything in 10 days. I also got a booklet about all acrylic paints by Amsterdam Royal Talents and it really very helpful because here we have all available colors also sizes and information about uh, paints about their transparency light fastness they make transparent opaque semi-transparent and semi-opaque colors and it's always nice to know about colors you needed and about the opacity. So I needed new brushes, but I was a little bit lost because of a variety of brushes on the side, of watercolor brushes and brushes for other paints like gouache, acrylic. So I decided to try watercolor brushes under Jackson's Art own trademark and they had this um, set of brushes and also 
I decided to add this around quill brush. It has unusual ferrule. I think that it's called French ferrule and it's more flexible than the regular brushes. And in this set I have one flat brush which is perfect for smooth washes and for applying of water and paint for the uh, bigger areas and I definitely needed such a brush. All brushes are synthetic sable and in the set we have another quill brush but bigger. I think that it's a huge brush for me and I'm happy that I finally have such a convenient size of the brush. And the last one is a regular round brush number 8, again sable synthetic. Of course they arrived covered with protective cups, but also they are covered with protective layer of glue, so you have to put them in the water and carefully, carefully dissolve that glue. But let me show you first my new colors of Amsterdam acrylic paints. Usually new art supplies immediately inspire me to start new projects, to try something new. They give me a rush of creativity and inspiration. And I already have a lot of ideas how I will use all my new paints and brushes for the new coloring and painting projects. As I said, brushes arrived covered with protective glue and it's important not to try to bend the tip before you remove this glue. I am so glad that my new brushes have nice thin tips and it will help me to color more precisely even tiny details. And by the way, I was quite confused with a number of on brushes because here a bigger brush has number 2 and smaller brush of the same quill type has uh, number 10 and usually I thought that the bigger is brush the bigger is number but for these brushes this rule didn't work but on the side um, there was a good description about each brush, for which paints it um, suits the best, what is it made from, size in millimeters and so on. So it wasn't quite hard to choose what brushes I need. Let me show you my new colors of Daniel Smith and Senelier watercolors. And I decided to purchase green ones. And you know the Daniel Smith watercolors, they are famous for the granulating paints. And when they are dried, you can see different hues in green colors like blue and gold or green and blue. So they are very nice for painting landscapes. 
and of course for coloring also. I put my brushes in warm water for maybe three or five minutes and now they are soft and they are ready for me to test them. I will show you my first experience with these brushes and, and with my new paints in the end of this video. But first let me show you another purchase from Amazon and I wanted to say huge thank you to everyone who purchased uh, things on Amazon via my affiliate links and you gave me the possibility to purchase this cross stitch kits and this is kits for uh, Christmas uh, tree designs they are by Mill Hill I have three angels here, they are stitched on perforated paper. You know that cross stitching is another one of my hobbies, even if now I don't have enough time for stitching, but I think for these small projects I will have time and they are also great as a travel projects. I love Milk Hill kits because they have a high quality threads and bed and they are quite easy even for beginners. And I also purchased this set of uh, fun Caribbean Santas, Santa Pirates. And again we have a lot of beds, so Santas will be quite shining and bright and this is my favorite type of handmade Christmas tree decorations I already finished a lot of Mill Hill kits I, thought, uh, I already made a video about all my handmade Christmas tree ornaments and these kits will help me to create something new for my Christmas tree this year Daniel Smith's watercolors are famous for their rich pigments and for the ability of many of their paints to granulate on paper. For example, when I put on paper a wash of Taylor Turquoise, I can see blue and green in this paint and in Cascade Green I can see hues of blue and golden yellow so they are interesting and complex colors and the last one of greens which i purchased which is uh, undersea green is a warm rich shade of dark olive green and my new senalier greenish amber is something between gray and green also very interesting I believe that watercolors are the most difficult technique of painting and maybe of coloring also. Because with acrylic or gouache paints I know how to correct my mistakes because they are opaque. But watercolors demand very good knowledge of properties of your paper, brush, paints and what is even more important, uh, knowledge of how they behave together. Because on different papers your brushes and your paints will look absolutely in different ways. And of course it's better to learn basic techniques like glazing, smooth washes and how to do different strokes. And I <laughs> terribly lack this knowledge and it will be really helpful to learn such basic to achieve better results. I decided to test brushes on a page from Jade Gidon book and flat brush indeed is perfect for smooth washes and I am quite content with the amount of water and paint which is held. Also I discovered that quill brushes are much more flexible that, than a regular one and they are great for painting in one stroke and regular round brush is better for 
paint control and for coloring small details. Next, I decided to color this tropical landscape and that's when I understood that even with professional paints and brushes you have to practice and learn, practice and learn before you would achieve something good. Result was terrible, but at least I know where my mistakes were. I decided to transform this open ocean view into a bay with couple of mountains covered with forest. I started with painting sky wet on wet and I immediately felt that this my new brush holds much more water than my previous one and it's not good when my book lay flat. I need to raise up the upper part of the book to allow paint flow not to stay and to make stains. My next mistake was color choice. I wanted to use and to test all my new colors, so I used cold bluish green for the first mountain and olive green for the second. And it's a huge mistake, because usually all mountains are covered with the similar trees and they both have to be in similar color, not a cold green and warm green. It's just distant mountain should be a little bit lighter and paler due to the perspective, but still both mm, colors have to be in the same hue. And my last mistake was about color values. I had to do mountain which is closer to us with much more darker color. But when I realized it, I was too afraid to apply second layer of paint. But generally I enjoyed my first experience with new paints and new brushes and I know where I have to improve. I wish you all pleasant coloring experience and to not get discouraged even if you didn't get the desired result. Once again, 
huge thank you to all my patrons and to everyone who helped to maintain this channel. I wish you pleasant summer days and I will see you soon.